Hey guys, how's it going? Markel here, back with another video. And this is my Samsung Galaxy S3 Frontier Watch from 2016, August of 2016. I actually picked up this one and this one. <laughs> I have two of them. Uh, and this one I picked up in February of 2017. This one I picked up in March of 2017 and the reason being i have two and it made sense at the time which it doesn't make sense now but at the time samsung had two line of phones right they had the s line and they had the note line so i originally bought this watch because i was planning to get at the time the note 7 but everybody remembers the battery problems and everything with the note 7 so i stayed with my note 5 and then I ended up getting the S8 Plus, which is why I ended up buying this watch with it. So I had two Samsung devices and I didn't want to keep switching watches from one device to the other device. So I just bought a second watch. So that way, when I had two Samsung phones, one watch would go with each phone. That was the logic back then. Now it makes no sense. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me run through this watch real quick. The specs are all over YouTube. This is a 60 year old device and I'm probably pretty sure I'm not the only one who made videos about this watch in 2022. But to be quite honest with you guys, this is the only Samsung smartwatch I've ever purchased those two uh, going back almost six years now. And I've used them with a ton of phones, starting with the Note 5, the S8 Plus, the Note 8, the Note 9, the S8, the S9, the S10 Plus, the Note 10 Plus. Uh, and then the Z Flip 5G and the S21 Ultra. And I do have one coming. Uh, I'm gonna connect to that one. And this one I'm actually giving away. Uh, I've had someone who's been eyeing this device for a long time. This is the second iteration of the Flip. And uh, I'm gonna give it to them. Uh, when my other one comes in, uh, I'm gonna give this one away. But anyway, back to the watch. So. Just to run through this watch real quick, it has a stainless steel uh, construction here. It is water and dust resistant IP68. Uh, this bezel here still works great. It still looks great for a watch that is six years old. And that's because honestly, I don't use this watch that often. Since there's two of them, I actually run through, or use, excuse me, um, three different watches, well in this case four, on a daily basis. but. I normally use this one 70% of the time. It's my Apple Watch, all right? That's about 70% of the time. The other times I'm using these two and probably 5% of the time I'm using this diesel watch, which I'll have a review coming up talking about this watch as well. But, so let's take a look around this watch real quick. I didn't show you guys any of that, but here on the right side, you have these two buttons. This top button is your back button. The bottom button is your power button, but if you click it twice, it can also be where you get to S voice, all right? Right now, I don't have it on, always on display. That's why I can get you know that long battery life because I can get about three days off one charge, not having always on display on. If I leave always on display on, I could probably get about a day and a half, which is what it was rated at at the time, okay? If you go here to the right side, there's just one speaker here at the bottom. And then I forgot to mention over here on the bottom is where the microphone is on this side over here. Uh, it is silicone bands here and there are your standard bands. So you can actually put normal, regular watch bands on this, whatever type you want. I just left it the way it came, just like this with the silicone bands. Uh, it is a Super AMOLED display, which is also touchscreen. And as you can see, it's still very fluid for a watch that's six years old. Uh, the biggest problem that I have, and I'm not gonna run through every spec, but the biggest problem that I have with this watch going into 2022, app support. This watch was discontinued by Samsung. There's a ton of watch faces on here that you can change to whatever you want. Like if you wanted something that has a bunch of information on it like this, or if you wanted to switch it to something more minimal, like this one you can, or, and you see change colors, <laughs> or, uh, no, I showed that one already. Let's get another one in here. Let's change it to something that's more fun. If you got kids, something like this, 
And there's tons of them that you can download for free. There's some that do have a price with them. But overall, man, I would say going into 2022, this is not a bad first watch. If you've never had a smartwatch, you want to try a smartwatch for the first time, you've never used one, this is not a bad way to start, especially with the price being discounted because it's discontinued. You can find these used or at discounters from anywhere from $120 and below. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching as always. And until the next time, guys, I'm out. Peace. Enjoy your day.